mad that you can't get in? We're gonna wash this puppy. Um, we're gonna be careful in this region because of the wiring. This is the oily side. So that's where the bullhorn was. And then there's a lot of oil all along this door. Plus, you know, the cats climb all over it and it's pretty disgusting. We're gonna start on this side because you now you're supposed to do like a two bucket, multi mitt situation, but I'm not usually the car washer, that's Justin, and we only got one mitt, so. What do you think? We're gonna use one mitt. We're gonna wash this side so that we're not putting the oil from that side onto this side. We're gonna wash this side and then go to that side so that that's at the end. We're striving for progress, not perfection. Um, we really like the Shine Supply stuff, so this is the flat out microfiber wash pad. Not sponsored, Justin buys these. It comes in a four pack because you're supposed to do a multi pack deal, you know? But Justin doesn't follow the rules, so we have one. And then he really likes this soap. Dang. People are gonna be like, they didn't even get all the pink juice off, and they're still hiding on there, but that's not the point. No, we're not worried about that. It's a race car. Yeah, my dad always said this is a racing car, not a show car. This one is definitely a racing car. Well, and to be honest, it didn't have the nicest paint job when we got it. Yeah, it looks good. Looks really good. You got all the oil off of it? Dang. Nice, this thing's ready for a moto. Right there in this area with a big scoop and carbonators and nitrous. What are the cats doing? They act like they're tired from washing the car too. Nice job. If it's good enough for Jim Dale, it's good enough for KJ. <laughs> So here we are, we got take two of this, or take 50 or however many times we've been trying to build this motor. Correct link rods in here, pistons, pins, rings, mean little snap rings to hold the wrist pins in, bearings. I went ahead because I wasn't, you know, sure about any, I'm never really sure about anything when it comes to building a motor, but uh, because the rods were new and hadn't been checked, I went ahead and took them all apart, put all the bearings in them, torqued them up, Checked rod bearing clearance. Everything's good there. I'm really, really happy with the way Callie's did these rods or, you know, both sets of rods really. So far, everything Callie's done has been pretty good. So, which, I mean, it should be if you pay that much, I guess. So we're ready to assemble this bad boy or try anyway. We're ready to try again.
what we're doing here is because we went dry pump wet sump i need to cover up the oil filter side of the block so i'm sure somebody makes a really nice piece to bolt in there but uh, i finished the short block and i had a little extra time plus i like making things so i found a three and three quarter piece chunk of aluminum and here i'm chucking it up in the four jaw chuck on the vise or on the lathe making sure it doesn't have a whole lot of run out and then because i'm not good at cutting on the lathe it had a bit of uh, radius to it so i had to face it from the center out which is kind of weird but it it worked out basically all i'm doing here is just facing it flat so that i know when i start i have a flat piece to what i'm working on it's flat to the lathe it doesn't have any run out and i can start uh, machining it i say machining i use that term very lightly uh, what i gotta do is i have to machine an o-ring groove in the face of this part so i can use a oil filter o-ring basically pop it in the end of the part and then put it into the block as easy as that sounds it's not easy for someone who's not a real machinist like myself so probably took me a lot longer than it should have but it turns out okay i think uh, here i'm drilling a hole in the center as kind of a cheat so that i can uh dicum the whole thing which is what i'm doing here the blue die is dicum and then i take a set of dividers and i mark where the o-ring needs to be from the center out and then i just take a parting tool on the end and face the o-ring groove into the part anybody who's a machinist this is the easiest thing in the world you can do to me this was a difficult process of learning but how cool is it when it works like when that o-ring pops in there i mean that's just that's one of the coolest things about having this little lathe is being able to do stuff myself like this now i have to drill the two holes that bolt it in um which was harder than it looks also because there's no center for me to measure off of on the block so i had to take the dividers and basically go uh center to center on the bolt hole and then split that in half and go from the center out and mark a so it was just yeah yeah it was a, i had to mark the center of the piece and then mark a circle for the bolt hole i can't imagine what a manual machinist goes through to do a axle hub or something that has a bolt pattern for wheels that has to be concentric and perfect so once that's done basically all the hard you know all the machining or hard math is done the rest of it's just cleaning the part up facing it uh turning it down to size and then chamfering all the edges to make sure that it doesn't cut your hands when you're working on it it doesn't cut the block it doesn't cut the o-ring and and it looks fancy 